Now, what does that mean to meditate on one thought? That means for hours, you're going to try to think about that thought, and you're going to have a flood of other thoughts. After several hours, almost 9, 12, 12 hours, nothing else was in my mind. By stripe, I was healed. By stripe, I was And then I would meditate it on the inside, where I wouldn't speak it out loud. 20 times. I'd count them on my fingers. 30 times. Holding a thought, only that thought, inside for that long of a time. Try it. It will produce in you. It produced in me and my business. It prospered my business. It opened up new channels for me to get into business. And then the Lord said, okay, you're through with business and put me into ministry. Okay. But it's the Word that does it. And it's you. Now, this is what happened to me about that third, third day, meditating in that Scripture. Okay? Like it says in this book here, how to use this book. It says, read it daily, speak it at all times to your mind, soul, body, and circumstances. Use this meditation method. Sit down quietly, speak aloud the word. Then speak the word inside your mind several times. Repeat, repeat, and repeat. You know what happened to me that day? I became one with that word. That word became one with me, that by his stripes I am healed. And to this day, been attacked. Not saying there's not a warfare going on sometimes, but it's impossible to manifest anything because that word is alive in me. One word, one single word. Okay? Maybe you're disgusted with yourself about something. Find the promise that says that's not who you are. I like, I like one. I like one that's mentioned twice in the New Testament. It says, if you sin, it's not you, but sin that dwells in your members. Whoa. What, what, what? Do you know the Apostle Paul lied? Can you imagine? The great apostle of, of the first generation, he lied. It's written right in the book. He was standing before the, the head of the Sanhedrin. The guy's sitting on his chair right there. The other guys are around him. And, and uh, 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 Paul lipped off to him, said something to him. Guy comes over and slaps him. And Paul says, why did you do that? You can't, you can't say like that to the high priest. Paul said, oh, oh I, I didn't know he was a high priest. All right, now, if you wanted to dig into it, you could find some other things that he showed up. But what he learned was this. If I sin, it is not I. Who? I, Son of God. New creation. But out of the soul, out of this garden of the soul, there are weeds that will come up. They'll pop up. It's not you. It's not you. Those old memories about dead stuff and bad stuff and hurtful stuff. None of that stuff has anything to do with you. Don't hang on to it. The blood of Jesus cleanses you from everything. Don't hold on to the past. I'm so sorry for so much of the generation that's out today, of the, of the people my age that, that believed on Jesus for all of these years. Faithful to go to church, faithful to do their tithes, faithful to do, 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 but they never learned how to meditate. You know, it says, take no care. Well, we've learned as sons, we know it. Somehow it's in our nature that we don't, we don't take the cares of the world. We don't take offense. We don't let those things come into us because we know that they're, they're sin. We walk free from that. Well, it, it may hit you. But then you, oh, thank you, Lord. I just released that to the cross. It has no place in you. This power is increasing in you and increasing in you because the Word of God is increasing in you. It's doing it. It will do it more if you work together with Him. 
Oh, well, I'm, I'm in rest. I'm not doing anything. Well, then that's what you get. You are a co-laborer with him. Now, son, maybe you don't know, maybe you're not even understanding too much of what I'm saying. You're under governors and tutors. Jesus was under governors and tutors of the kingdom of God while he was growing. He didn't know how to do what the father does just when he's 11 years old. He didn't know how to do anything. He was taught by wisdom and understanding and counsel and might and faith and grace. He was taught how to do things. So finally, in the maturity of himself as a son, what did he say? As I see the Father do, I can do also. So when I meditate upon the Word, I begin to see how the Word becomes one with me, and it's alive in me, and it does what it says. It does what it says. What the Word says is what the Word does. Literally, the Word does what it says. 